Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio workshop. I am back here again with Mad Zuri. Greetings. And uh, this episode is going to be a little different. Um, we're going to be doing some comparisons for efficiency, and uh, this is the episode where uh, myself and you guys realize that I was quite wrong about some stuff that I've uh, I've done previously. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll let Zuri kind of go over the details, but just a quick summary. We're going to compare... Um, different build setups. Um, so on the left here, we have, uh, well, on the left and right, we have gears, uh, but there is a different beacon setup and machine configuration for this one on the left. Um, these ones are hit by 12 beacons, uh, whereas these are um, only hit by, how many were they hit by? Yeah, the ones on, this, on the edges are weird. Right, but th this is normally hit by eight. Um, except for the ones on the edges. So on this one's hit more, by more beacons, um, but there's less machines. And I'll let Zuri go over the details in terms of we're comparing um, energy efficiency, essentially, for items produced, as well as space efficiency, um, and then raw production as well. Yep. All right. Well, we started off trying to match the size of the builds as, as best we could. Mm -hmm. uh, for both the left and the right builds, you can shave down one tile if you really wanted to. Since both builds can shave down one tile, it's, uh, we neglected that for the calculations. Right, so, just still. Yeah, the one on the right was producing about 106.5 thousand a minute, and the one on the left was 500 or uh, 55.8 k a minute. So it's the one that I built is nearly double. Yeah, nearly double for almost the same amount of space, pretty much. Yes, and then mine only consumes about 50% more power, though. So mine came out to 101 kilojoules per item, and the SpaceX one came out to 239 kilojoules per item. Right, and you cut out for a second. You said 200, You said 181 kilojoules for this right one? 181 yeah and 239 239 right so um yeah so this is a beacon setup i've been using quite a bit and i did like a workshop or two by myself with some de designs like this uh because i thought it was good and then we copied it to spacex um but i'm now realizing it was a mistake and zuri's builds are still far superior <laughs> <laughs> well here's here's the idea though so eight beacons per versus 12 beacons per you have 50 percent more beacons but you have half as many machines so that comes out to about 75 percent of what this can do for the same space effectiveness right and i'll just about the same number for energy effectiveness and all that so my build takes about half as many inserters as this build. So even though it has twice as many machines, it has half as many inserters per machine. So the computational complexity that people complain about inserters is about the same anyway. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, so, you know, in, in general, for, for pretty much everything, this beacon setup um, on the right here is going to be superior to this one, uh, simply due to space. Um, and especially when you do this machine configuration, um, which for some things, uh, like green circuits, won't work. But we do have a green circuit build, again, Zuri's, that uses the same beacon layout, um, just a different machine layout, but is still superior to the um, other other beacon layout. Yes, it's a little, it has some gaps in it between the beacons, and S laid out a certain way. And you can rotate some of these, actually, to use fewer chests. So if I were to swap the every other one for the green circuit and cabling mm -hmm. it'll work out so that you don't have to use you can use like a third of, third of, a, a third of the tests right so um let me okay so that one's unplugged um so we figured out that this one does 18.4 thousand um a minute and um comes out to 
372 kilojoules um, per item. And uh, then the other one down here, I think we calculated for double this build, but um, it was it was way less. Um, like it was about double the items per second. So it, let's see, it, check my notes right. Six hundred and eight items per second, but it came out to four hundred and sixty nine kilojoules per item versus my three hundred and seventy two kilojoules per item. Yeah, so it's less um, energy efficient, and then as well as space, um, it's less efficient. Uh, you, th this one up here, I think you calculated to come out to 5.1 square meters of space uh, per item a second required. So on average, for every item per second you want to produce, you need about 5.1 tiles. Mm -hmm. And the one down here with the full stack was 7.1 same production yeah so less space efficient as well and um and yeah i mean really that we, we you know we were talking there's really not any design um where the other beacon setup down below is going to be better than this one um so I, I was mistaken on that. I thought I had found something good, uh, but not really. <laughs> um, and I guess um, it would be worth explaining because I'm sure people are wondering uh, how we actually arrive at these um, energy per item and space per item. Um, so what we do uh, is we figure out the total production. Um, so we figured out the production for this, which was uh, 17 or 106,000, 106.5,000 a minute. Um, and we then need to find an amount per second. So we divide that by 60 to get our amount per second. And then we take our power, um, which we just find here. And I believe we divide that power by the amount per second. Yes. Uh, to get our amount per uh, per item, amount of power per item. So you take 322 million divided by 1,775 items per second. Seconds cancels out and you end up with uh, kilojoules per item, which came out to 181. Yep, and uh, just for clarification, um, we're doing the million um, because of megawatts, we have to, you know, Get the get the right denomination there. So um, that's how you do that. And then the the space um, you actually did this calculation, Zuri. So I'm not sure exactly what you did for this, but oh, I did length and height to get the total grid space. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to see how many tiles per item per second. So you know, for one item per second to be produced, how many tiles do you need on average? Yeah. So I took the total grid size and divided by the production. Right. So that was uh, 1551 meters squared for the size, and I divided by 307 items per second to get my 5.1 uh, tiles, I guess, or square meters per items per second. Okay. Yeah. So. You know, pretty straightforward, um, and th that's how you would calculate, I mean, regardless of um, how you set up your build, that's how you would calculate those things. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so there you go. I mean, you know, so this video is kind of to show you how to calculate that, how to compare builds, and it, it, it can be deceiving because I honestly thought, um, you know, I was naive enough to not compare power and space when I was, I was just comparing raw production numbers. Um, when I started using this beacon setup, and I was like, "Oh, well, this is this is great," you know, it did a little higher, just just raw production. Um, I was like, "Okay, so this wins." Um, but 
it can be good to compare the builds down to a more finite level, um, like the power and space, because we now realize this is a, quite a large amount worse than the other setup. Was it like 33% worse about? Um, yeah, I think you said 33% worse in space efficiency and like 24% worse um, in uh, power efficiency. Yeah, it sounds about right. I'll erase the numbers because we recalculated some of them. Right, but either way, it's not as good. And um, and yeah, so there you go, guys. You know, if you still want to use the other beacon design, I might use it just because, I don't know, but it, it's not as good. <laughs> um, so if you want to go for max efficiency, I know some people don't care, um, but if you do want to, then uh, you're, you're going to want to go with something like this. But um, I believe that'll be it for this one, Zuri, unless you have any uh, other thoughts or, or things to add here. Oh, that should be about it. Alrighty, awesome. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, if you have any questions or thoughts or anything, do leave them down in the comments section. And uh, any more submissions as well for us to do would be fantastic. But until next time, we will catch you later. Later. <laughs>